Sustainable sushi is made from fished or farmed sources that can be maintained or whose future production does not significantly jeopardize the ecosystems from which it is acquired. A dish known as narizushi, stored in fermented rice for possibly months at a time, has been cited as one of the early influences for the Japanese practice of applying rice on raw fish. The fish was fermented with rice vinegar, salt, and rice, after which the rice was discarded. The first mention of sushi is in a Chinese dictionary thought to be from the 4th century, in this instance referring to salted fish that had been placed in cooked or steamed rice, which caused it to undergo a fermentation process. Fermentation methods following similar logic in other Asian rice cultures include prahok, pla raw, barong isda, siki, and amazake. The lacto-fermentation of the rice prevents the fish from spoiling. When wet field rice cultivation was introduced during the Yayoi period, lakes and rivers would flood during the rainy season, and fish would get caught in the rice paddy fields. Pickling was a way to preserve the excess fish and guarantee food for the following months, and narizushi became an important source of protein for Japanese consumers. The term sushi literally means, sour tasting, as the overall dish has a sour and umami or savory taste. The term comes from an antiquated she terminal form conjugation, no longer used in other contexts, of the adjectival verb sway, resulting in the term sushi. Narizushi still exists as a regional specialty, notably as Funazushi from Shiga Prefecture. Vinegar was first added to the preparation of Narizushi in the Muromachi period, 1336 to 1573, for the sake of enhancing both taste and preservation. In addition to increasing the raya's sourness, the vinegar significantly increased the dish's longevity, causing the fermentation process to be shortened and eventually abandoned. The primitive sushi would be further developed in Osaka, where over several centuries, it became oshi zushi or hako zushi. In this preparation, the seafood and rice were pressed into shape with wooden, typically bamboo, molds. It was not until the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, that fresh fish was served over vinegared rice and nori. The particular style of today's nigirazushi became popular in Edo, contemporary Tokyo, in the 1820s or 1830s. One common story of nigirazushi's origins is of the chef Hanaya Yohei, 1799-1858, who invented or perfected the technique in 1824 at his shop in Ryogoku. The dish was originally termed Edome Zushi as it used freshly caught fish from the Edome, Edo or Tokyo Bay. The term Edome Nigirazushi is still used today as a byword for quality sushi, regardless of its ingredients' origins. The earliest written mention of sushi in English described in the Oxford English Dictionary is in an 1893 book, A Japanese Interior, where it mentions sushi as a roll of cold rice with fish, seaweed, or some other flavoring. There is an earlier mention of sushi in James Hepburn's Japanese-English Dictionary from 1873, and an 1879 article on Japanese cookery in the journal Notes and Queries. Sushi is a Japanese dish of prepared vinegared rice, usually with some sugar and salt, accompanied by a variety of ingredients, such as seafood, often raw, and vegetables. Styles of sushi and its presentation vary widely, but the one key ingredient is, sushi rice, also referred to as sherry, or sumeshi. The inventor of modern sushi is believed to be Hanaya Yohei, who invented nigiri sushi, a type of sushi most known today, in which seafood is placed on hand-pressed vinegared rice, around 1824 in the Edo period, 1603-1867. It was the fast food of the Chonin class in the Edo period. Sushi is traditionally made with medium-grain white rice, though it can be prepared with brown rice or short-grain rice. It is very often prepared with seafood, such as squid, eel, yellowtail, salmon, tuna or imitation crab meat. Many types of sushi are vegetarian. It is often served with pickled ginger, wasabi, and soy sauce. Daikon radish or pickled daikon are popular garnishes for the dish. Sushi is sometimes confused with sashimi, a similar dish in Japanese cuisine that consists of thinly sliced raw fish or occasionally meat. The increasing popularity of sushi worldwide has resulted in variations typically found in the Western world but rarely in Japan. A notable exception to this is the use of salmon. Historically, the Japanese have eaten salmon since prehistory, however, caught salmon in nature often contains parasites and must be cooked or cured for its lean meat to be edible, therefore, unsuitable as raw meat. On the other side of the world, in the 1960s and 1970s, Norwegian entrepreneurs started experimenting with aquaculture farming. 
The big breakthrough was when they figured out how to raise salmon in net pens in the sea. Being farm-raised, the Atlantic salmon reportedly showed advantages over the Pacific salmon, such as no parasites, easy animal capture, and could be grown with higher fat content. With government subsidies and improved techniques, they were so successful in raising fatty and parasite-free salmon they ended up with a surplus. Norway has a small population and limited market, therefore, they look to other countries to export their salmon. The first Norwegian salmon was imported into Japan in 1980, accepted conventionally, for grilling, not for sushi. Salmon had already been consumed in North America as an ingredient in sushi as early as the 1970s. Salmon sushi did not become widely accepted in Japan until a successful marketing partnership in the late 1980s between a Norwegian businessman tasked with helping the Norwegian salmon industry and the Japanese food supplier Nikairi. Other sushi creations to suit the Western palate were initially fueled by the invention of the California roll, a noromaki with crab or imitation crab, cucumber, and avocado. A wide variety of popular rolls, noromaki and uramaki, have evolved since. Norway roll is another variant of uramakazushi filled with tamago omelette imitation crab and cucumber, rolled with shiso leaf and nori, topped with slices of Norwegian salmon, garnished with lemon and mayonnaise. Uramaki is a medium-sized cylindrical style of sushi with two or more fillings and was developed as a result of the creation of the California roll, as a method originally meant to hide the nori. Uramaki differs from other makimono because the rice is on the outside and the nori inside. The filling is surrounded by nori, then a layer of rice, and optionally an outer coating of some other ingredients such as roe or toasted sesame seeds. It can be made with different fillings, such as tuna, crab meat, avocado, mayonnaise, cucumber, or carrots. Examples of variations include the rainbow roll, an inside-out topped with thinly sliced maguro, hamachi, ebi, sake and avocado, and the caterpillar roll, an inside-out topped with thinly sliced avocado. Also commonly found as the rock and roll, an inside-out roll with barbecued freshwater eel and avocado with toasted sesame seeds on the outside. In Japan, uramaki is an uncommon type of makimono, because sushi is traditionally eaten by hand in Japan, the outer layer of rice can be quite difficult to handle with fingers. In Brazil, uramaki and other sushi pieces include cream cheese in their recipe. Uncommon for the traditional recipe, this is the most common ingredient used in preparing sushi in the country. Tamaki also often contains a large amount of cream cheese and is extremely popular in restaurants. Multiple filling rolls inspired by futomaki are a more popular type of sushi within the United States and come in variations that take their names from their places of origin. Other rolls may include a variety of ingredients, including chopped scallops, spicy tuna, beef or chicken teriyaki roll, okra, and assorted vegetables such as cucumber and avocado, and the tempura roll, where shrimp tempura is inside the roll or the entire roll is battered and fried tempura style. In the southern United States, Many sushi restaurants prepare rolls using crawfish. Sometimes, rolls are made with brown rice or black rice, known as forbidden rice, which appear in Japanese cuisine as well. For Food and Drug Administration regulations, raw fish, served in the United States must be frozen before serving to kill parasites. Many of the styles seen in the United States are also seen in Canada and their own. Doshi, a portmanteau of sushi and donut, is a donut-shaped rice ball on a deep-fried crab or imitation crab cake topped with sushi ingredients. Maki poutine is similar to makazushi in style except it is topped with cheese curds and gravy and contains duck confit, more cheese curds, and sweet potato tempura. Sushi cake is made of crab meat, avocado, shiitake mushroom, salmon, spicy tuna, and tobiko and served on sushi rice then torched with spicy mayo barbecue sauce, balsamic reduction, and dotted with caper and garlic chips. Sushi pizza is deep-fried rice or crab, imitation crab cake topped with mayo and various sushi ingredients. Sinaloan sushi originated in Sinaloa, Mexico and has been available in the western United States since 2013. Potential chemical and biological hazards in sushi include environmental contaminants, pathogens, and toxins. Large marine apex predators such as tuna, especially bluefin, can harbor high levels of methylmercury, one of many toxins of marine pollution.
Frequent or significantly large consumption of methylmercury can lead to developmental defects when consumed by certain higher risk groups, including women who are pregnant or may become pregnant, nursing mothers, and young children. A 2021 study in Catalonia, Spain reported that the estimated exposure to methylmercury in sushi consumption by adolescents exceeded the tolerable daily intake. A 2011 article reported approximately 18 million people infected with fish-borne flukes worldwide. Such an infection can be dangerous for expecting mothers due to the health risks that medical interventions or treatment measures may pose on the developing fetus. Parasitic infections can have a wide range of health impacts, including bowel obstruction, anemia, liver disease, and more. These illnesses' impact can pose health concerns for the expecting mother and baby. Some forms of sushi, notably those containing the fugu pufferfish and some kinds of shellfish, can cause severe poisoning if not prepared properly. Fugu consumption, in particular, can be fatal. Fugu fish has a lethal dose of tetradoxin in its internal organs and, by law in many countries, must be prepared by a licensed fugu chef who has passed the prefectural examination in Japan. Licensing involves a written test, a fish identification test, and a practical test that involves preparing the fugu and separating out the poisonous organs, only about 35% of applicants pass. Unlike sashimi, which is almost always eaten with chopsticks, nigirizushi is traditionally eaten with the fingers, even in formal settings. Although it is commonly served on a small platter with a side dish for dipping, sushi can also be served in a bento, a box with small compartments that hold the various dishes of the meal. Soy sauce is the usual condiment, and sushi is normally served with a small sauce dish or a compartment in the bento. Traditional etiquette suggests that the sushi is turned over so that only the topping is dipped to flavor it. The rice, which has already been seasoned with rice wine vinegar, sugar, salt, mirin, and kombu, would otherwise absorb too much soy sauce and would fall apart. Traditionally, the sushi chef will add an appropriate amount of wasabi to the sushi while preparing it, and the diner should not add more. However, today, wasabi is more a matter of personal taste and even restaurants in Japan may serve wasabi on the side for customers to use at their discretion, even when there is wasabi already in the dish.